Hello, I'm James Beery, and I'm very pleased to introduce you to my volume of organ hymn preludes for Lent and Holy Week, entitled Journey to the Cross. There are eight settings included in the book. Some are to old familiar tunes, and some are settings of hymn tunes by living composers. The book opens with a setting of the 16th century tune on Wasserfluss in Babylon, A Lamb Goes Uncomplaining Forth. It features a mournful, sighing motive. The second piece is based on Caithness, O Lord, Throughout These Forty Days. This piece features a technique that's used in the last of the Brahms 11 chorale preludes with chromatic harmonies and an echo of the last few notes of each phrase. The piece based on Sing My Tongue, The Glorious Battle, which is a tune by Carl Schock, is a pompous march that I think would be particularly suitable for Palm Passion Sunday. The setting of Kingsfold was specifically created to go with the text, No Tramp of Soldiers Marching Feet. It's a piece which is modeled very closely on the famous E minor chorale attributed to J.S. Bach, BWV 721, Erbarm dich mein o Herrgott. There are heavy repeated chords in the left hand and pedal, and the tune is presented in a straightforward fashion in the right hand. Then there's a very nice expressive setting of the John Ireland tune, My Song is Love Unknown. I found this to be a very useful setting in services. The tune New Malden was written by David McCarthy for the text, Jesus Greatest at the Table. My setting has a somber simplicity, allowing the tune to be heard clearly and plainly. I guess my favorite piece in the whole book is a fugal setting of O Traurigkeit, O Darkest Woe. It's a very expressive piece and ends quietly and peacefully. And finally, there's a piece based on the tune Reality by John Bell. The piece explores the modal character of the tune with an accompaniment of parallel open fifths. Thank you very much for listening.
Hi, my name is John Benke, and I'm here to talk about my new arrangement of My Song is Love Divine uh, for SATB Voices and Organ. I, like many people, absolutely love the hymn, My Song is Love Unknown, the text by Samuel Crossman, and the wonderful tune by John Ireland. It's usually a hymn that's sung on Good Friday or in the Lenten season. With its theme of love, my mind drifted to the Charles Wesley hymn, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. This made me ponder if the two hymns could be juxtaposed in some fashion. I'm sure many people would say, why are you messing with a favorite hymn of mine? Or maybe messing with two favorite hymns of mine? Well, my goal was to tell a complete love story, not to leave you at the foot of the cross. It was impossible to use all the stanzas of both hymns, so I had to make some hard choices. You find the first stanza of My Song is Love Unknown, then the first stanza of Love Divine, then the second stanza of My Song is Love Unknown, and then the third stanza of Love Divine, then stanza three of My Song is Love Unknown, and then a closing resurrection stanza, which I wrote, with the closing phrase, Our Song is Love Divine. It's a love song for every Sunday morning that Jesus took our sins to the cross, died, and rose three days later using two favorite love hymns juxtaposed. I hope you will give it a listen and uh, consider it for your choir. And I should say there's also an organ prelude derived from this choral arrangement found in five hymn inspirations set for God's blessings to you. Thank you.
Patricia Hurlbut, and I'd like to share with you a piece for three to five octaves of handbells, level two. Oh, love how deep, also known as Oh, wondrous type, Oh, vision fair, is an arrangement of Deo Gratias. I have treated this Renaissance tune as a lilting waltz with a strong sense of rhythmic pulse. The piece passes through three different keys and the bass bells have a chance to ring the melody. Using mallets and marts, oh love how deep is energetic and fun to ring. <laughs> 